Hi, it's Donna Messer, and you know what we're going to talk about? Keeping track of who we know. Oh, how dull, how boring, but we got to do it. If we don't have a database, if we don't know who we know and what they know, it's not going to help us at all as far as networking is concerned. So there are a number of ways that you can do it. The easiest way is with recipe cards or Rolodex cards, and you can put all of the information you know about that person when you first meet them. Or if you're into computers, you can use a database management system. And there are a number of them. There's Maximizer, there's ACT. And I have a little favorite. I use something called CardScan. And CardScan allows me to scan the card into my database, and then it will go into Maximizer or ACT or whatever you like. But what's most important once you get the cards into the database is to start putting in more information about each and every person that you meet. So you imagine that you've got this, this card. Well, the next time you meet them, you find out something more about them. You add to it. What I want you to do is I want you to think about their hobbies. Do they like sports? Are they participants? Or are they spectators? Do they like animals? Do they have a dog? Do they have a family? Are they twins? Put down as much as you can in your database so that every time you meet that person, you can call up all of the information and use it so that they know that you care about who they are and, and what they're all about. Having a good database is probably the most important thing that you can do to make your networking invaluable. I have more than 10,000 in my database, and I can tell you not only who they are, but what industry they're in, perhaps something about their families, where I met them, the kinds of associations they belong to, and what they're interested in. I can even tell you how many times I've met them sometimes, because each time I meet with them, I make a little note in my database. So if you want, what you want to do is to, for your comfort level, establish a database. That database can be recipe cards, Rolodexes, computers. It doesn't matter what it is, but add to it constantly. Who are they? What do they like to do? Who do they know? What are their hobbies? What are their interests? Do they ski? Are they participants? Are they spectators? What do they like to do? And every time you see them, use a little bit of that information. That'll help you to establish that network.